Hello everyone, DCB here, and welcome to another discussion video. In this one, I would like to discuss the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick. So, St. Patrick is normally depicted carrying a staff with a snake entwined in it, and holding a shamrock. For those of you that don't know, the shamrock is a four-leaf clover, here is a picture. So without any further ado, let's get into a bit about St. Patrick. <coughs> St. Patrick was a 15th century Romo-British Christian monastery and bishop in Ireland. Known as the Apostate of Ireland, he is the primary patron saint of Ireland. The other patron saints being Bright of Canmere and Common. Uh, Patrick was never formally canonized, having lived prior to the current laws of the Catholic Church. In these matters, nevertheless, he is a ventured as a saint in the Catholic Church and in the Eastern Orthodox Church, where he is regarded as equal to the apostates of Enlitha of Ireland. He is also regarded as a saint within the framework of their respective doctrine by the Anglican community and the Lutheran uh, churches. <clears throat> the dates of Patrick's life cannot be fixed with certainty, but there is a general agreement that he was active as a missionary in Ireland during the 5th century. A recent biography on Patrick uh, shows a late 4th century date for the saint is not impossible. Early medieval tradition credits him with being the first bishop of uh, Angloff and primate of Ireland, and regards him as the founder of Christianity in Ireland, converting a society practicing a form of Celtic um, progressivism. He has been generally so regarded ever since, despite some evidence of earlier Christian presence in Ireland. According to the autobiography, uh, Confessions of Patrick, when he was about 16, he was captured by Irish pirates from his home in Britain and taken as a slave to Ireland, looking after animals. He lived there for six years before escaping and returning to his family. After becoming a cleric, he returned to Northern and Western Ireland in later life. He served as a bishop, but little is known about the places where he worked. By the 7th century, he had already come to be revered as the patron saint of Ireland. <coughs> St. Patrick's Day is observed on the 17th of March, the supposed date of his birth. It is celebrated inside and outside of Ireland as a religious and cultural holiday. In the Doctors of Ireland, it is both a sanctum and a holy day of obligation. It is also a celebration of Ireland itself. <coughs> so there is a little bit about uh, St. Patrick and what we kind of know about his, his early life. Some of the factual stuff that we've been able to get together from the, the ancient texts and the medieval texts and uh, historical evidence. There is, of course, a great legend about St. Patrick when he came back to Ireland as a cleric. Is that when he set foot on Ireland, all the snakes that were living there decided to go for a swim. But they basically left as soon as he arrived. I don't, of course, know if this is factual or not, as there are still snakes in Ireland to this day. Either as pets or wild animals. And, um, yeah... He is a patron saint of Ireland. Basically, he is recognised as the 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 head saint. No, not the head saint, but the main saint celebrated in Ireland. Of course, other saints. Uh, and I do, of course, apologise if I butchered any of the Irish words. Uh, very sorry, my Irish brethren. It's obviously not my first language. And of course, it is a major day of celebration. It's obviously known for a great deal of revelry and loudry, uh, where people would normally go and uh, and drink a lot, um, as, as Ireland is very famous for its, uh, for its beers, uh, one of the most famous cause of being Guinness, um, everyone, everyone's probably heard of that one, it's, it's my famous 
most famous um, drink because there are others. Yeah. National flower, the, the, the shamrock called the four-leaf clover, is obviously um, a symbol of good luck and good fortune and is normally held by St. Patrick itself. And the whole staff with the snakes entwined is to represent the legend of him uh, when he reappeared onto Ireland and then banishing the snakes from it. But that could be in reference to him um, helping the development of Christianity within uh, Ireland itself and, and sort of turning away from the, the Celtic um, religion that it had before into the uh, Christian Catholic religion um, as it was back then because um, before Henry VIII, there was just a, a, a Catholic Christianity, rather than the, the many branches of it that there are today. Obviously, over time, Christianity itself has evolved into many different forms and formats, be that Orthodox, um, New Age, uh, Roman Catholic, uh, Church of England, and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to get into that. Uh, this is just basically a, a brief video about St. Patrick and um, a bit about his history. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. As always, please do leave a like, uh, put in your thoughts into the comments below about um, how you found this video, did you find it interesting, is it something you'd like to see more of, is it something I should really stay away from. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this video with those that you think will enjoy it. And to the next one, this is DCB. Knowledge is power if we use it wisely.